Hello, this is Manesh Patel from the EII Capital Group. Today is June 22, 2011. This is our weekly Ichimoku analysis for the futures markets where we cover everything from commodities to natural gas to oil to corn, um, metals, and so forth. Okay, uh, this is our normal disclaimer. This is state for educational use only. All charts that you see are from Thinkorswim, TradeStation, or FreeStockCharts.com. Here are my contact details there. You could follow us on Twitter here at Ichimoku Trading, or you can access any of our free videos here at IchimokuTrade.com. Okay, got a lot to cover, so let's begin. I uh, remember today is the Fed announcement, so be very, 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 very careful. Uh, remember, on the left hand side is a weekly time frame, the right hand side is the daily time frame. Okay, we're going to start as we normally do, start just going down from the top and go down to the bottom and start looking at all the futures. Cocoa futures, if you look at them on the weekly, there's nothing really there, either on the daily, it's just consolidating right now. It's got to break 2800 on the bottom side and 3298 uh, at the top side to just even look at this, but right now there's nothing there at all. Light sweet crude oil. If you look at it on the weekly time frame, uh, it's actually on its first major pullback now after this big long trend up. Uh, so it's on a pullback right now. It doesn't mean the trend has reversed at all. Okay, if you look at the daily time frame here, you could see that basically is below the cloud and it actually looks like if it sits there and breaks below uh, 92, it can start a trend to the bottom side and possibly get all the way up to about, right, I'll be right about here, $85 a barrel. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens to see if it does break down, uh, but doesn't mean anything right now. Uh, if you look at it on the daily time frame, it's got to get above $97 uh, to even start uh, looking at it for bullish opportunities at all but ideally uh, 100 uh, if it gets above 103 is where the bullish trend will start again um, but nothing for a long time if you look at cotton it's been trending here for a long time for weekly finally entered a major pullback right now uh, and you could see that equates to a uh, trend on the daily time frame here uh, you could see now it is at a major support right now which is at 120 so it's going to be interesting to see what happens there so you may sit there and go back all the way up to 143 uh, which is a major resistance and at that point it'll be key to see exactly what happens okay uh, next we're gonna look at US dollar index if you look at that on a weekly time frame you can see it's trending uh, it's bearish trending right now it is uh, consolidating right here at the little bottom right now uh, but you know it's major resistance level is at 777248 uh, which it hasn't even got close to yet if you look at the daily time frame it's just chop 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 right now of prices in the cloud so it's just consolidating so nothing really there today's Fed uh, announcement may sit there and move the dollar some so it'll be interesting to see what happens um, Gold we'll look at in a minute. Let's go look for all the meat uh, futures. This is feeder cattle. Remember this was trending and it finally entered a pullback uh, last three or four weeks ago. Uh, if you look here last week it basically came back above and now it starts looks like it's trying to start to resume its trend uh, uh, bullish trend on the weekly time frame. If you look on the daily time frame, you can see all the volatility that entered this. It's gone up. However, in order to start a trend on the daily time frame, it really needs to pull back close to about 130 if it can. If you can't there, maybe 133 uh, once it pulls back to that level uh, and holds there and then starts going up, then it could start a trend on the bullish time frame, which will sit there and resume a trend on the weekly too. Okay, lean hogs. If you look at lean hogs, this is still very strong. This really didn't enter a major pullback at all, like Peter Catter at all. Uh, it's been uh, in a bullish trend for a very long time, and you could see the same thing on the daily time frame. Again, the daily time frame needs a pullback, uh, preferably up to ni uh, 95, ni um, 0.975, or maybe even 93, 163, but 95, uh, 975 will be a good pullback if it holds there. Copper, everyone's been talking about copper, I don't know why. Uh, it's bullish trending, but it's entered its major pullback now on a weekly time frame. And you can see that equates to here on the daily time frame. It was trending, it's done a pullback, now it's just sitting and consolidating. Uh, clouds right now is basically stopping it from going up. Uh, so it may sit there and start trickling down. Uh, this could go either way here. Uh, major resistance level is at uh, 4.2515, and major uh, support level is going to be uh, 4, 4, uh, 4. So, you know, those are the levels there. Heating oil is still in a major, uh, is in a bullish trend on the weekly time frame. And you can see on the, the daily time frame right now, it's consolidating, but it is tilting more to a 
uh, bearish trend maybe possibly on the daily time frame which will equate to a major pullback on the daily on the weekly okay uh, so keep a lookout for uh, maybe heating oil starting to uh, start a trend on the daily and maybe uh, equate to a pullback on the on the uh, weekly uh, coffee was in a trend now it's on a, a major pullback right now and you can see it's starting a trend on the daily time frame right now you can see the volatility in the last uh, well not last two days but the two days before that it went down and really needs to pull back up to about 259 uh, hold there and then start going down if it does that then it could uh, have a very strong uh, tr bearish trend to the downside on the daily time frame lumber if you look at lumber here uh, it's basically it's now actually bearish uh, it, it was in there popped out was bullish one moment now it's bearish here not trending yet uh, but bearish uh, and you can see from the daily time frames consolidating here it's really got a break below about 210 uh, to start the bearish trend on both the daily and weekly on going down major supports at, sorry major resistance at 276.80 which is very far away live cattle was just like feeder cattle had, it was in a major pullback and now it's going up if you look at this this is weak compared to all the others out there so in some ways you could do a pairs trade where you could sit there and go long lean hogs and short live cattle uh, if you do that I think you will do really good in doing a pairs trade because if you look at it um, live cattle is more bearish than all the other uh, meats out there and lean hog is probably the most bullish so that would be a good pairs trade out there for everyone okay um, let's go look at natural gas if you look at natural gas on the weekly it's not doing anything at all on the daily it looked like maybe over here a couple of last week or the week before that it looked like it could break out but look what it did just went back down uh, and that's all due to the weekly time frame basically being in the clouds and nothing really there uh, frozen concentrate orange juice is bullish trending on the weekly and also on the daily you can see this big gap up it needs a little pullback now uh, to about 187 and then it could resume its trade going up Pladanium, if you look at Pladanium, it was bullish trending on the weekly. Uh, it's now entering a major pullback right now. And you could see the chaos that it's causing here at the top here, which looks ugly, which equates to basically the daily time frame being in a state of influx and consolidating. Uh, platinum, if you look at Platinum, bullish trending a little slightly on the weekly. Uh, now it's kind of consolidating here at the top, which is basically causing nothing to happen on the daily time frame at all. So nothing really to talk about there. Gasoline, which is interesting, still bullish trending on um, um, the weekly time frame. Uh, major support here is at 286 two dollars and eighty six uh, dollars a barrel uh, it's been holding there until it breaks that it's not going to enter a major pullback at all if you look at the daily time frame here you could see that it does have a potential starting a bearish trend here which will equate to a major pullback on the weekly but it's got to break that 286 level uh, and it looks like it's trying to get some momentum to do that uh, so next couple of days are going to be key to see exactly what happens with it sugar if you look at sugar really nothing there it's in the cloud here on the weekly time frame so it's just consolidated daily is popped out of the cloud so it's basically bullish sentiment but there's no trend there at all really needs to pull back hold around 24 34 and then start going up if it does then it can possibly start a uh, bullish trend to the top side on the daily time frame um, we'll come back to silver in just a sec actually let's go for gold gold if you look on a weekly time frame here is still bullish trending been doing that for a very long time on the daily time frame here it's basically getting to the top of its consolidation pattern here but gold does look like it's trying to pop out right now but be very careful it doesn't mean it has but it looks like it's trying to get to its high of its consolidation pattern silver just hanging around it's on a major pullback on the weekly doesn't mean the trends over but just hanging around uh, the more it hangs around the more momentum it's given to the bulls and less to the bears if you look at the daily time frame nothing really there at all uh, it's got a big thick cloud it's got to go through but 4103 is a major resistance level it breaks that then we can start looking at opportunities to go long there 30-year treasury no, uh, bonds if you look here uh, in the weekly it's basically in the cloud nothing really there and if you look at the daily time frame it actually was bullish trending did a little pullback here and back here so it's basically consolidating here at the top um, but the weekly shows that nothing's really going to happen there as far as trends are concerned corn bullish trending on the weekly nothing really happening here on the daily because it's just consolidating here at the top and corn really needs to enter a major pullback but nothing as of yet um, let's see 10-year treasury notes 
If you look here, same thing as the 30-year Treasury bonds. Uh, it's basically bullish sediment now. Uh, needs a little pullback down. Uh, and then we can see exactly what's going to happen on the weekly, but really nothing on the weekly at all. If you look on the daily, it's bullish trending right now, uh, but it's getting a little top here uh, where it's consolidating at the top. So it would be interesting to see what happens with that one. Oats, really nothing on the weekly time frame at all, and which equates to nothing on the daily at all. So it just consolidates and nothing really there. Soybean was bullish trending. Now it's consolidating here at the top, so it's very strong. Trying to enter a major pullback, but nothing as of yet. And you can see from the daily time frame, it's just consolidating. So no commitments as far as that's concerned. Wheat, really nothing there on the weekly, just consolidating. It's, at, it's getting close to a major support at 680 on the uh, daily time frame you can see that it kind of broke out here but really didn't break out it's just consolidated big wide consolidation pattern so nothing really there um so that's it that's it for this week uh if you have any questions please uh let us know and we'll go from there thanks